Welcome to the Jobnik. Spokesperson for the Israeli Prime Minister's Officer, Tal Heinrich, joins me. Um, good evening. And tell me this, and, and, and I, I wish I had Hamas here to answer this question, because I, I ask it in all candor, is I know, I know what Israel is trying to do to get humanitarian aid in there, but I also know that Haniyeh, who is anywhere from worth $5 billion to $10 billion, who is in Qatar and head of, uh, was head of Hamas, what is Hamas doing to get aid? And maybe they're doing something that we're just not hearing the reports about. What is Hamas doing to help get aid to those Palestinians? That is a great question. Nobody in Hamas is going hungry, Greta. Please be sure of that, because we arrested thousands of these terrorists, Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad. None of them uh, seemed uh, to be hungry. Hamas, they've been hoarding and, and stealing uh, the aid that uh, has been funneling in. And keep in mind that more food trucks have entered Gaza since October 7th uh, on a daily basis than before the war has even uh, begun, before the October 7th uh, massacre. Hamas has been stealing this aid, and at some sometimes they sell it for tenfold the price at the market. And you know what? They're not doing it just to feed their own war machine. They do it because that is part of the strategy. They want to maximize the civilian suffering in Gaza uh, in hopes that Israel will take the fire for it and that international pressure on Israel will bring an eventual end to the war and let them stay in power, let them live another day and carry out another October 7th massacre. Well, you know, it, it is curious how um, Hani and other Hamas leaders got so very rich in rather short time, and I don't know, you know, they didn't invent the iPhone. Um, they didn't, you know, they didn't do a lot, of, a lot of great inventions. They were skimming off money that was flowing in and out of Gaza, and they got very rich. And now you've got the irony of it is that this horrible, um, horrible situation where the aid workers were killed, and, and nobody wanted them to die. But, you know, the, you know, the world is scandalized that it happened. Of course, Israel took, took some action, but nonetheless, they died. And, the, and you're winning, you're losing the PR war. And it, the irony of it is, is that the more Israel loses the PR war and the more Hamas doesn't try to help these people with all their money, the more it inures to the benefit of Hamas. So people out there have to understand, and I'm glad you're bringing it, it up, because you're either Team Israel or you're Team Hamas in this war. There is no middle here. If somebody truly cares about Palestinian civilians, they should wish for Hamas to be gone, because Hamas has been, they, they've been in power for 16 years in Gaza. All they brought upon Palestinian civilians is a lot of misery. Um, they knew exactly what was going to happen when they launched, launched the October 7th attack. And they're trying to do their best to maximize civilian casualties and maximize civilian suffering in Gaza. And, and again, they hope that Israel will be accused for their actions. So when pressure is, is applied on Israel instead of on Hamas in this war, you know, they're playing right into Hamas's strategy, right into their hands, and they're incentivizing their use of humans as, as human shields, or use of civilians as human shields, and, and stealing of the aid. Because if, if you put the pressure on Israel when Hamas are doing these things, then you incentivize these sick methods. Tao Heinrich, uh, thank you very much for joining me. And, uh, you know, I, I wish that I could get into, uh, into Gaza. I realize it's painfully dangerous for anybody. Again, and just to get in, so we can get an idea of, you know, what this aid situation is, not, you know, from some journalists, but nobody's getting in there right now. Tao Heinrich, thank you very much for joining me. Pleasure, Greta. Thanks for watching. Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and hit subscribe to stay updated with our latest content. Until next time, stay informed and inspired. This is Dajabnik signing off.